I heard this in my heart when I was filming it. I mean, these are the deepest, the deepest prayers I ever have done um, have always made me the greatest of the man that I couldn't be without Jesus. And he said, um, can you love my children more than you fear evil? Can you love, just as can you love Jesus more than you fear the cross? <laughs> and there is a go-to time and a power that is extraordinary where, um, where I'm not afraid of anything. And my heart was so on fire that uh, I, it was the best I ever was. And th this film undoubtedly is the best film I've done since the Passion of the Christ. And it was enormous uh, challenge. It took two years just to come off this uh, movie, but it, it has great qualities in it. Uh, it's a full-on adventure film. You, you, it is um, taken, the film taken with a yeah. huge heart. But these are the things that um, where when the film is over, you, you don't leave your seat. Um, <laughs> you, your heart's on fire mm -hmm. um, and you want to do something. And that's why... I was called into this business and the, and I gave my career to Jesus. You picked my roles for me, <laughs> you, you know? And so in this time period where we're seeing films that are just, it, it, I mean, it has to be intentional where Christianity is completely sidelined mm. and we continue to take it. We get on our knees with our mask on rather than standing on our feet. And so um, you and I were talking about Reagan earlier. We were talking about the, the documentary in the face of evil. And I love what he had said in one of the th things where Reagan said, and I kind of made a few amendments, but we cannot but buy our security of one nation under God, our freedoms in Christ, our savior from the threat of the devil any longer by committing an act of immorality so great as saying to millions and millions of little children now caught behind the iron curtain of sex trafficking. <laughs> Give up your dreams of freedom now because in order to save our own skins, we're just too willing to make a deal with your slave masters. Wow. And Alexander Hamilton said that any nation which can prefer disgrace to danger is prepared for a master and deserves one. And back at what you said, yes, Evil is powerless if the good are unafraid. This is in the Gospels. You read it. You, you've got, you know, John the Baptist. Well, I don't want to be him. Well, why not? I mean, <laughs> what about St. Paul? I don't want to read him. He got his head chopped off too. You know, we're all playing a, a character in Scripture right now. It's wow. not just a history book. It, wow. It's actually something when you read it, you feel it burning in your heart. That fire comes on. The greatest that was you know what I believe this was all intended and I embraced this guy